Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to use a screw extractor set aka an easy out to remove a broken bolt and today we're going to have to do that from this engine block. As a little bit of background information this is our boat, this is our engine. I was fixing it around a week ago and I bought the cheapest possible torque wrench to do a job. I torqued up the bolt to what should have been 70 newton meters. The torque wrench wasn't working, it didn't break, the back of the torque wrench didn't click when it was at 70 newton meters, so I over torqued the bolt and snapped it inside the engine block. Great, so that's why I'm doing this job today and we can do it together so you can see how this works. If you're interested, you can check out our sailing channel up there and you can see our sailing shenanigans. Here's a screw extractor, very simple. It has a left hand thread on it and all you do is the fastener that you're dealing with that no longer has a head because you've broken it off. What you need to do is drill a hole. That needs to be very, very well centered. Otherwise this, uh, this becomes a lot more difficult. So that's the most important part of this job is getting the hole in the bolt right in the center. Drill a hole, you get your easy out or screw extractor, hammer it home, that gets stuck. And then as you turn this anti-clockwise, then the, uh, the left hand thread gets stuck even further into the hole, that becomes jammed and then at that point your fastener will start to rotate and it will screw back out. That's how it works. As I say, centering the hole is the most important part of the job and that's where you have to put 90% of your effort. Here we have our broken fastener and by definition this will have been work hardened because as the uh, as the metal was placed under stress before it broke it was work hardened so this is hardened material now and also it's not going to be a nice flat surface as you can see it's kind of got a twisting effect in the material so before we start the first thing that we need to do is get a file and make a nice flat area in the center now i don't want metal filings and swarf going into the engine here so i'm just going to place a piece of paper over the top of the engine block and then I'll just cut a small hole in it so that I've got a kind of access panel into where I need to work. Okay, I've finished with the file. It does have a low spot on the far side, but that doesn't matter. What we have is a nice flat area right in the center of the fastener. The key to drilling a hole in the center of the fastener is to mark it out well from the beginning. So I'm gonna use an engineer's scribe here and mark out the very center of the fastener. Okay, so initially, it's just gonna be a tiny little scratch. Then I'll get a centre punch, place it onto my scratch, which I can feel it's probably only about half a thousandth of an inch deep or something, but you can actually feel it. And then with the centre punch, there you go, one tap with a hammer. Now you've got a centre mark at which to start drilling. I'm now going to use a small screw extractor. I've selected a drill bit which is of a, the correct diameter. In this case I'm using a 3.2 millimeter drill bit. It depends on what size screw extractor you're using. To do this job I've got myself some cobalt drill bits. They're 5% cobalt and they're much sharper than standard HSS drill bits. They will last a very long time if you drill at the correct speed and they're really good drill bits. They're worth the extra money. I'll put a link in the description to a set of cobalt drill bits on Amazon just so you can check them out. Uh, the only thing to be aware of is that especially the smaller diameter bits they can snap quite easily so you should wear eye protection when you're drilling with these 
I don't have any safety specs, so I'm not going to wear any, but on this occasion, don't do what I'm doing. You should wear some safety specs. I'm going to squint and be very careful while I'm doing this. Correction, I've got some sunglasses, so I'm going to wear them as safety specs. As you can see, I'm drilling very slowly, and the reason for that is I'm not using cutting fluid. And if you're in a situation like this, where you don't have cutting fluid, as long as you drill nice and slowly like this, then there's actually no need for it. Your drill bit's not going to overheat. You're not gonna overheat the material that you're cutting into, and you'll be fine without a cutting fluid. I've drilled down into the fastener far enough to get the easy out in, the uh, screw extractor in there without it bottoming out. Now all I need to do is place this into the hole that I just made, get a hammer, there we are, that's it tapped in. I'll put the handle on the top of this from a tap and die set and I'll screw it anti-clockwise and extract it from the engine block. There she comes, straight away. As you can see, there's a little bit of swarf there coming up with the bolt. So I'll make sure that none of that goes down into the engine. They can be stuck a lot harder than that. This was really easy. Um, I have experienced this before when they were much more difficult to remove. That's how you can use a screw extractor to remove a broken fastener. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos before you leave. I make videos on all kinds of different subjects. And if you like what you see there, then why not subscribe to my channel? If you want to know if I got this diesel engine up and running again, then check out our videos on our other channel, Sailing Brittily. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, don't forget, love life.